Good morning, Coach Slack here again. Um, you know, in the continuing effort to uh, create and maintain good habits on a day, you know, every day of my life, um, and hopefully to maybe inspire others to do something similar or the same. Uh, one of my habits is, all, of course, to uh, pick up the Holy Bible and uh, read a little bit every day, including the daily epistle and daily gospel. Um, and so um, I'm going to read the daily gospel at this point. Uh, today's daily gospel is from uh, the Gospel of St. Mark, uh, chapter 9, uh, verses 10 through 15. And I'll be reading from the Orthodox Study Bible, which is uh, the New Testament is written in the New King James Version. Um, all right, so here we go. <clears throat> so they kept this word to themselves, questioning what the rising from the dead meant. And they asked him, saying, Why do the scribes say that Elijah must come first? Then he answered and told them, Indeed, Elijah is coming first and restores all things. And how is it written concerning the Son of Man, that he must suffer many things and be treated with contempt? But I say to you that Elijah has also come, and they did to him whatever they wished, as it is written of him. And when he came to the disciples, he saw a great multitude around them, and scribes disputing with them. Immediately when they saw him, all the people were greatly amazed, and running to him, greeted him. Uh, I've mentioned it before, and I'll, I'll always say it again. Um, one of the things I really love about the Orthodox Study Bible is the footnotes, and so I'll also read um, from those. Uh, footnotes, uh, chapter 9, 11, verses 11 through 13. <clears throat> The return of Elijah, expected as a preparation for the Messiah, has already been fulfilled through John the Baptist. And that's the footnotes for today. <laughs> In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.